transportation industry is a gold mine for hackers looking for personal data, so it's critical that travelers be extra vigilant as they go from place to place. IBM Security's Caleb Barlow is here with some guidance. Caleb, good morning to you. Good morning. So why is the travel industry this gold mine for hackers to take our information? Okay, well, you know, you guys are based in Tucson. Think about all the way back to the days of the Wild West and highwaymen, right? When people travel, they bring valuable things with them, and they often lower their security posture a bit. So, you know, we, and the only thing that's changed over hundreds of years is that all of this has gone digital, right? It isn't the box full of gold or silver we're traveling with across the desert. It's now our mobile devices and laptops. And, you know, those things contain enormous amounts of information along with all the things we do when we're traveling, using credit cards, our itineraries and statements, our frequent flyer numbers. All of this stuff is out there and we've got to protect it because this weekend alone, you know, 43 million of us are going to be going and traveling. Right, so what's the best way for these travelers to safeguard their data? Okay, so let's talk about a couple of key things. First of all, we show up to the airport, we want to get that last email out, we go and connect to public Wi-Fi. Well, 50 potential Wi-Fi networks show up. Which one's the legitimate one? It's really hard to tell. So the first thing you want to do is be careful what you do on public Wi-Fi, or better yet, save that banking transaction, maybe where for you're at home or a place you can trust. In addition to that, you know, think about all of those tickets and itineraries. Don't leave the ticket behind in the seat back pocket in front of you. Bring it home with you and shred it. Because the barcodes on those tickets and itineraries contain all of your information, your name, where you're traveling to and from, your loyalty rewards number. It's pretty easy for a bad guy to use that as the beachhead to either launch a phishing attack or potentially get into one of your accounts. And what are you seeing in the majority of Americans? I mean, it's great to hear all these tips, but are they actually uh, doing something about it? Are they putting in action these, these guidelines that you're, you're talking about? Well, we went out and surveyed over 2,000 travelers, and we found out, unfortunately, they're not. And the group that actually has the worst behavior are business travelers. Why? Because we're in a hurry. We're trying to get work done. And there's a few behaviors people really need to think about. You know, if you're going on, let's say, that international vacation, do you really need to bring your work laptop with you that has all of the corporate secrets and documents and PII on it? Maybe you leave that at home. And if you do need to get access to the data, maybe you do it through a cloud environment. In fact, we're seeing companies even make available to their employees empty laptops that they can use, connect back to work via a secure VPN, but not bring all the corporate data with them. Excellent, lots of great information. Thanks so much for your time. We'll be right back.